What's up everybody, it's your boy Julie Jules and today I'm bringing y'all my very first review video. Um, shout out to Gam Diaz. Uh, they were kind enough to send me out a keyboard um, to do a review on it. Uh, y'all, this might be the keyboard that I use uh, for gaming uh, on PC. So um, it's pretty dope. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all a little bit about it and then y'all can let me know in the comment section what y'all think. So let's get into this video y'all, let's go. All right, y'all, there it is. This is the Gambius Hermes M3 RGB mechanical gaming keyboard. This is a super low profile 87 key uh, keyboard. Uh, from the looks of it outside the box, it looks like it's super, it looks pretty dope, you know? So let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy and take a closer look. All right, everybody, this is what it looks like, okay? It's a really small, not really small, but it's a pretty small keyboard, but uh, that might work better for me since I have small hands. So if you have small hands, you might wanna consider this kind of keyboard. But um, it is uh, really thin, y'all see that? It's a really thin, really light keyboard. Like it's really, really light, but um, it's well made like you can tell that it's well made. It's a well-made keyboard um, I'm guessing Because it's got the uh, detachable uh, USB um, power uh, power cord That this is something that would be good for traveling so um, if, if you are a Gamer that is on the travel on the move all the time um, this would be perfect. You know, you don't have to wrap the cord around and uh, pack it away. And it's small that it's gonna fit into a backpack. Um, so this is a uh, this this seems like it's a pretty dope keyboard. Um, as you can see, that there is no number number pad on this side. So that's what brings the uh, the key the key count down to 87 keys. Um, and also right here, it has the WASD. It's basically just the up, down, left, right. Um, so they just have it labeled WASD, so. But um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the specs and uh, how it performs. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here at the top, we have the easy access multimedia controls like Pause, play, forward, backwards. And over here on the right, we have the built-in lighting effects, which are wave, rotation, slide in, and static. Now you can change a bunch of the colors of uh, the keyboard to have whatever scheme that you want. You can do that in the Hera software, but I'm gonna show you guys how to change the effect. All you have to do is hit the FN button and then at the same time, press one of the uh, four effects on the right side. So um, these colors are very bright, vibrant, and the keyboard is really dope. So I didn't really mess with any of the colors because I, I like the way that it was. And this is my favorite one, which is the wave.
Okay, so here we have some gameplay. I just wanted to give you guys a look at how responsive uh, the, the keys were to my touch. So the keyboard that I used before is kind of a soft key keyboard where it's really silent and you can't really hear it. And I use that because for streaming, I don't want to have keys uh, kind of clicking in your ear, but it was a noticeable difference using the mechanical keyboard, the low, pro the low profile mechanical keyboard than my regular one. My regular one, it would uh, take a little bit longer to respond because the keys are standard, but with this low profile mechanical keyboard, uh, it was very, very responsive. It was, it was crazy. I was putting up a lot better numbers using this keyboard than I was using my old keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch the gameplay as I go into uh, detail, more in depth detail about the uh, keyboard. So system requirements, you're gonna need Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7, 8, or 10. Obviously you're gonna need a PC with a USB port and you just need internet connection so that you can install the Harris software. So, this keyboard has low profile switches, uh, which makes for faster response and accurate keystrokes. It has 16 million colors and customi customizable lighting effects. So that's pretty dope. You can pretty much go into the software and customize it any way you want, whatever colors you want. And yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty dope. I like it a lot. Um, it has two programmable macros keys, which is the FN and the G1, G2, to easily execute your uh, recorded macros. So um, now we could talk about uh, the difference between the low profile and the standard. So the travel distance for the low profile is 3.0 millimeters. The keycap is 5.0 millimeters and the keystroke lifestyle is 60 million. Now check this out for the standard, the travel distance is 5.0 millimeters. The keycap is 11.5 millimeters and the keystroke lifestyle is 50 million. So it's a large difference from the low profile in the standard. So from here on out, I'm going to be using low profile uh, mechanical gaming keyboards. Like I, I'm not going back. So um, yeah, that that's all I really have to say about the keyboard. It is pretty dope and I can just kind of give you guys my uh, final take on this. All right, y'all, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on the keyboard and I love it. I do, I really, really like the keyboard. Um, in a way, I think it's better than my old keyboard. Uh, it's just things that I had to get used to. Because the keyboard was so small, I found myself hitting two keys at once until I kind of got used to uh, just how, how small it was. And then with a little bit of practice, I was, it felt great. It felt really, really good. So. Um, one thing that I don't like about mechanical keyboards is like when I'm gaming and streaming, like I don't like, like how loud it is, but, um, it is very responsive and, uh, the low profile definitely helps with that response time. So, uh, my other keyboard is like kind of like a silent keyboard, even though you can kind of hear it like when I'm streaming, but. Uh, it's not as loud as this keyboard, but I will take performance over the sound any day. So um, if you guys are interested in the keyboard, you can find it at Best Buy or Amazon um, or even Walmart. And it's going for about $68.99, which is a really, really good price for this keyboard. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all uh, go check Gamdius out uh, and uh, Shout out again to Gambius for, for sending me the keyboard. Thank you guys so much. I had a great time making this review and I'm gonna have a lot of fun using this keyboard for my PC gaming. So 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I appreciate the support. Make sure I hit that like button if it was helpful. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Peace.